So if you want to become a professional DJ, you're going to need DJ gear. But what DJ gear to choose from? There are so many options. Um, we're going to make life simple for you. To start off, I would like to stress that a great DJ is not depending on the DJ gear he or she plays with. A professional DJ is great at putting great records on at the right time in the right way. So that should be your main focus. But of course, in order to play or learn how to mix, you need DJ gear at home. And um, we've looked at what professionals use. Uh, we looked at our coaches, uh, our nine coaches that perform all over the globe and that play every week at uh, big clubs and festivals and uh, taken into account what their experiences are with different setups and what they like or don't like about different setups. Uh, we've also taken into account the experience of the thousands of students that have come over here to study and their experiences with DJ gear. So what did they buy in the beginning? How did they upgrade and why? And towards what DJ gear would they like to upgrade in the future? And all this info we have put into our conclusion about the DJ gear. So what do professional DJs want from their gear? They want three things. They want it to be reliable, they want it to be fun to work with, and they want it to be easy in use. So let's start with the first dimension, which is it should be reliable. It should be reliable because you're playing and as a DJ, you don't want your DJ gear to break down in the middle of a performance. Because everybody's gonna look at you because you're responsible for the music and it's your problem if the gear breaks down. So you don't want that to happen. So reliability is a big issue. Now back in the days when people started playing with uh, CD players, uh, that was an issue because many of these players wouldn't, uh, well, play all CDs. And this changed when Pioneer came out with their first players. And they were so reliable that they made a big impression because they would play every CD and they would not break down in general. And so they have built their rep reputation upon that and still Pioneer is a great and very reliable brand. Now, in general, if you want to choose your gear, uh, you can choose between hardware only setups, which is plug and play, turn it off, turn it on without any need of other gear or controller setups like these, for instance, and they work in combination with a computer. Now we prefer hardware setups and why? Because there's no computer in between. And putting a computer in between your controller and the rest of the gear means uh, that it's going to be less reliable. It's harder to install because there's more computer technology involved and there's more risk of it breaking down because a computer breaks down sometimes because of a virus, because of many different things. And so it's more complex and more uh, hazardous to play with a controller setup than a hardware setup, which is just turn it on. And certainly if it's a Pioneer setup, it will work and it will keep working. So that's why we prefer a hardware setup if we look at reliability. Now the fun factor is also a very important element of uh, choosing your DJ gear. And uh, the best way to have fun mixing is playing with record players. Uh, it goes for us as coaches, but also for our students, they have a lot of fun if they start mixing records with a real record player. But on the other hand, it's also the least practical way of playing. So that's why we do prefer, again, a hardware solution, which is playing with a player like this because it has the most direct feel and still gives you a lot of feedback about what you're playing and how you're playing it. Um, we prefer it uh, in comparison to using a controller because there's a computer in between and it does make you feel a little bit more distant from, uh, from the music is our experience and that of our students. Uh, so again, uh, hardware has our preference. Now the third element that is very important is the uh, ease of use. And um, if you come to a club, it's very handy if you don't have to set up anything and just can go and start playing. Uh, now in the majority of clubs, you will see a Pioneer set up there. And it's very easy because you just need a USB stick and you put it in the player and you start playing. Uh, again, if you have a controller set up, you will have to install that. And that can be, uh, well, uh, annoying. If another DJ is playing and you have to set up your gear and test it while he's still playing, uh, it can cause a lot of stress for the other DJ, but also for yourself. So again, we prefer hardware. And um, as you hear me saying now uh, for a couple of times, Hardware solutions uh, like this setup have our preference. Uh, but of course, this is very uh, expensive. It's a Pioneer setup. Um, Pioneer is most used in the clubs, as I said, uh, and it has a reason. It's good gear, it doesn't break down, it's easy in use, 
And uh, of course, if you learn to play on the Pioneer, it's easier for you to switch in a club to a Pioneer system because you're already used to it. But do you have to buy this one, which is close to 7,000 euros? No, you don't, luckily. Um, this one is great. Uh, this one is also great. Uh, and this sells for 250 euros. There's other controllers by Pioneer as well. And why, why not use other controllers, which are also good from other brands? It's because this works in conjunction with Recordbox. And Recordbox is the program you use to organize your music in if you're playing with any kind of rec uh, Pioneer player. So it's useful because you don't have to learn any other program than that. So no Serato or Tractor, which uh, saves you effort. But our number one choice is this one. Um, sells for about 1600 euros and it can do, well, almost anything this big set can do uh, for a much lower price tag and we advise it to many, many, many of our students and a large amount of them also buys this one and they're all really happy with it. So that's the best test we can, we can give you. They're all really happy with this setup. Um, now, of course, there's differences between this one and this one. The, the sound quality is different and the feel is a little bit different, but still, this is our number one choice if you want to play uh, with Pioneer gear, which we do advise. So what about other DJ gear? Do you have to buy Pioneer? I mean, a lot of you probably have different setups. Uh, you might play with a uh, tractor or a Serato in combination with turntables or just uh, a loose setup using Pioneer players like these. Um, a lot of options and of course there are situations where you might prefer using that gear uh, but we say this is Pioneer Gear is a great startup option and uh, if you switch later on this has to do with your personal style, the music you play, uh, the kind of technical stuff you want to do and uh, then it's best to give you a very personal advice on that and the way to do that is for us to give uh, you access to a webinar in which we'll discuss the whole DJ gear subject and you can ask your personalized questions about which gear is best for you to use. And um, so join us in this webinar, we'll announce it soon and uh, we can answer all your questions. Thank you for watching.